So, Mountain Philosophy 102. Brief word about Nelia. Person who was part of Kenny Veach community. The way I see it, she got kind of burnt out after the live upstream. There was a um, live upstream regarding the mystery, and I think she was on Libera's channel, but I don't know. Just conjecture. She might have felt dejected. Um, there's been issues where, you know, basically, you know, people might have taken issue with her writing style or her language fluency. My understanding, you know, basically she's commented with me back and forth quite a few times. Um, spiritual person, basically from Russia, Russia, and uh, climbed Mount Everest, part of the team, different, there's different teams. And so this is the person that has on her footage, she's braved the treacherous, um, doesn't do it justice, but she's braved the treacherous ice fall from the base camp. She's braved the ice fall. And she's done the route. She even, I think there's a footage of, of getting stuck in one of those rock crevices. So even in her own video, some of the writing style might be a little different to, you know, basically might be a little different than, uh, you know, but, but she has her own style of doing things, and I think, you know, maybe there is a language uh, barrier. Uh, so if people ask her, why doesn't she just use a translator or something, that's not, that's, that's her business. She doesn't have to do things anyone else's way. So, you know, this is a very talented mountaineer climber, and also, and I think, if I recall, a, a model from Russia. And so, you know, I hope they come back, and she was actively part an active participant in the mystery and on Libera's channel I, I think she got I think she felt burned out she might have misinterpreted something uh, you know basically English speakers right so uh, if they don't understand you some people are very straightforward I don't understand what the heck you're saying uh, speak up some people might take that the wrong way they might feel de dejected and leave but anyway now on to the mountain itself I like the whole mountain climbing philosophy because, uh, you know, there's a saying that if you can go back in the past, would you be a better person? Pete, I, my philosophy is, well, I'll speak for myself. I don't change. I'm not going to say people don't change. People have different testimonies. I'm a changed man. I'm a changed man. I'm totally different person. To, but, you know, I, I'll say I don't change. I don't change. And if you go back in time like that Tom Hanks movie, there's a spoiler, spoiler alert, that Tom Hanks movie. I kind of forgot the name, it's all grown up or something, but if I go back in time and all of a sudden, you know, with the same memories and knowledge, I'm going to be ten times worse, so there's going to be prison and jail galore, so this is not a speech about if, oh, I learned my lessons, if I can go back in time, I'm going to be a better man, oh, hell no, um, but I can talk about the mountain philosophy, the mountain philosophy, now, a lot of people just, um, they, they, they might go through something, they gotta hang in there, and they don't need no people moralizing them about their life choices. So anyway, back in that day, uh, there was like these, you know, post expulsion some type of meetings, and he had some, you know, basically folks saying about me, this is the most violent youth we have seen, and we can't have him back in that class because he's a danger to him, uh, not, not really to himself, but he's a danger to others. Ho, ho, ho. Clap, clap, clap. Right, very well said. Okay, great. Well, okay, great impressions, right? But anyway, um, but what I feel in a reflection is that one thing, I'm not, I wouldn't say you're a better man if you can go back in time. Uh, the only thing I would say is that you, you experience time differently in a younger days. Now, this can be, imagine if the ice fall area is just a mere two years, but to a younger person, that feels like the journey of a lifetime. So, perhaps with, with a different experience of time, knowing that a year or two years is just like walking one, two, three footsteps. It's not the next 30 years. Then it might put things into perspective because you can cope with things a lot better. Basically, you just tolerate. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to 
not necessarily going to work, start working hard and be, uh, you know, this, uh, be a scout, right? But you just know time is a breeze. Uh, as you get older, you, you look back and you realize, holy crap. Those times, that could have been just a breeze. All you had to do, in some periods of conflict, you could have just, you could have just, uh, chilled back, let the time, let the statutory time, statutory time, you're your own man, you, uh, you know, basically, let the statutory time just fly, but, but, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, but there's no sitting back and moralizing, because you're the same exact person, um, and you know if provoked what your own inclinations are so and you have to it's not like it's not like I have to put a handcuff on a bedpost I mean, you know you're gonna it's not like I'm gonna you know you know take something wake up at 3 in the morning and stumble back in the house at 10 in the morning and not having any recollection of what I did I'm not that's not what I'm saying but I'm just saying there's no moralizing oh I was this before and now I've grown up and I've reached the summit of um, of the moral summit. No, no. But I don't know how this got off topic. Anyway, 